welcome my dear all friends. I'm Ahmad Raj Ahmad Zay again with a new English lecture. It's starting with from my channel, most merciful and most compassionate. My dear all friends, uh, same like usual, before starting on today's lecture, I would like to ask you all to like my videos, subscribe my YouTube channel, and please do not forget to uh, press the like button to receive all the notifications of my new videos. Dear all friends, as uh, you all can see, that today we are going to talk about the future um, uh, perfect tense passive voice. It means that we already talked about the active voice of future perfect tense. Today we are going to talk about the passive Passive voice of future perfect tense. Dear all friends, before talking about the passive voice of future perfect tense, I need to explain or define future perfect tense and what is future perfect tense. Future perfect tense is a verb form that uh, uh, is a future is a verb form that um, uh, describe an event to plan to uh, happen before time reference in the future. For example, he will have prepared dinner by 6 p.m. Dear all friends, just pretend that now on it is 3 p.m. and we're talking uh, about 6 p.m. For example, let's repeat our example. You will have prepared dinner by 6 p.m. Dear all friends, we can have many examples like this. Uh, for example, let's make another example. Ahmad will have um, fixed the car by the time the children woke up. Or Ahmad will have fixed the TV by the time the uh, children woke up. Just pretend the children are all waiting to watch the TV by the time the children are going to wake up. The TV is already going to be fixed by Ahmad. Dear all friends, simply we can change the uh, structure or the sentences from active voice to passive voice and future perfect tense. But first, we need to know that what is the structure in future perfect tense and active voice. The active structure in, uh, in future perfect tense is subject plus will plus have plus past participle form of the verb and plus at, uh, an object or plus at the uh, adverb of time at the end of our sentence. Dear all friends, something which is really important to be mentioned is that we only can use from have and future perfect tense because there are two auxiliary verbs, so we cannot use second auxiliary verb in single way, or we cannot use uh, from has after well. So we only can use have for all subject pronouns. For he, uh, she, it, I, will, you, be, we only need to use from have. Let's change the simple, uh, the first sentence from active voice to passive voice. The first sentence was. He will have prepared dinner by 6 p.m. If you want to change it from active voice to passive voice, first you need to break the object or the one which received the action. The action which is going to be received is uh, dinner. Dinner will have been prepared by 6 p.m. It means first you need to mention dinner, after that you need to mention will have been, after that you need to mention from the uh, third form of the verb, after that if there is any um, object, if there is any um, uh, by phrases, you can mention by phrase at the end of your sentence, or if you have any other part in your sentence, you can mention them at the end. Let's change the second sentence from active voice to passive voice. He will have fix the uh, TV by the time the children woke up or you can change it from active to passive voice like this the TV will have been fixed by Ahmad or by M by the time the children woke up my dear old friends it was our today's lecture about future perfect passive voice I hope you enjoyed and learned some new things from our today's lecture in case of facing with any compliments any suggestion or any question you can write it down in my uh, comment section take care of yourself be pleased Allah Hafiz